Assassin's Creed is a great franchise, but it does have many flaws, and each game has that one thing you just wish you could get rid of or just make it better. Today we're going to go on a game by game basis and discuss and discover what each game could have done better or it could have removed to make the overall game better. Let's not waste any time and let's get started with the one that started it all. My least favourite part of Assassin's Creed 1 is easily the mission design. Particularly the fact that a lot of missions in the game are very repetitive. A lot of the game is just going to a city, doing side missions, unlock a target, then assassinating the target. For me this got really old, and I just can't bring myself to replay the first game again because it just gets old really fast for me. I get the game's about being an assassin and it's the first in the series, so I do cut a little bit of slack for being the first in the series, but it's really, really repetitive doing that over and over and over just to get to the end of the game. But I hope one day Ubisoft will come to their senses and remake the game, make it a little less repetitive, because trust me, I think a remake of this game could be incredible, it could really turn this game into something really special, because the repetitive part just, I really hate it, I really do. The second entry in the series is considered one of the best by many, but to me I wasn't the biggest of Assassin's Creed 2. I liked the story a ton, but my least favourite part was the combat actually. I know a lot of people love this game and I do enjoy it, but personally the combat for me it just never clicked. I just avoided um, non-stealth combat the entire game. I didn't like it very much, I just preferred to stay in stealth because I had the combat, there was just something about it, I just didn't enjoy the combat at all in Assassin's Creed 2. I found Assassin's Creed 1's combat to actually be better to be honest, I preferred the combat in Assassin's Creed 1 to Assassin's Creed 2. That's probably unpopular, but just personally, I just really didn't like the combat in Assassin's Creed 2. Now, this is a hard one. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood is one of the best in the series, if not the absolute best game in the series. So it's a little hard to pick the worst part of this game since most of it's done so perfectly. But if I had to choose one thing that I didn't like, and trust me, this is a nitpick. Like, I actually had to sit down and think about what I didn't like. Like, it took me a while to get to this. And my main problem is just the game set almost entirely in Rome. I like Rome as a city, but it would have been nice to see in some other cities. Kind of like the first two games. But honestly, this is a nitpick. Brotherhood's a fantastic game, so I'm really not that annoyed. But, you know, I had to find one thing I didn't like in every game, and that was the one thing I wish Brotherhood to. just had one or two more saves. But Brotherhood's an incredible game. Revelations is a great game, but it didn't really push the series forward in any way. The game kind of felt like a standalone expansion of Brotherhood. The gameplay was identical, the parkour and the animations were almost identical. The story though was actually fantastic. I loved the story of Revelations, one of my favourites in the series to be honest. Especially that opening cutscene. Amazing. So what's the worst part about Revelations? It's gotta be those stupid tower defence missions. They are kind of fun the first time you do them, but the next time you do them you don't enjoy it very much. Thankfully you only have to play these missions once in the main story, but if you do want to do everything in the game you're going to have to play them way more than once. I found them repetitive. I think if they added a little bit more variety and a little bit more depth to these missions, I think I actually would have really enjoyed it. The first time I did it, I actually quite liked it, but the second time, eh, it was okay, and then the third time I was like, no, please no more. It's okay, it's just, I feel like more depth, a little bit more to it. The game just feel like it didn't have much content in those tower defense missions. Just add a little bit more content and a little bit more depth to it, and I think I actually would have really really liked the terror defense missions, but in the state they are currently, if you play the game right now and you play one, they're not very good. Assassin's Creed 3 is a game I love a lot. I love it more than most people do. I really enjoy the setting, it's such a fun and interesting setting that I really like, and it was exciting to see it finally in a game, because there's not very many games about the Civil War. Assassin's Creed 3 though does have one major issue, and that's his main protagonist. I don't hate Connor, he's not the worst, but I can't lie, for a large part of the game, he's just so goddamn boring. I think a large reason why players and myself find this about Connor is because for the first couple hours of Assassin's Creed 3 you're playing as Hatham, a character overflowing with personality, and it's just a joy to see him in every cutscene. But then you swap to Connor and it's almost the complete opposite side of the coin. Connor's a fine protagonist, but after you play as Hatham, you want to play more Hatham. Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag is similar to Brotherhood, it's really hard to pick an issue with it. The game is just so damn good. Black 
flag, though, does have one problem that sticks there like a sore thumb, and you encounter it in many, many different parts of the campaign. And that's the absolutely awful tailing missions. There are so many tailing missions in Black Flag. There's just so many of them, and they're just so boring. They all boil down to follow a target for five minutes, and then move on and do something fun. It's just so bad. It's the only part of Black Flag I genuinely hate. But even though it's so annoying, the rest of the game is just so damn perfect that I can overlook it for the most part. Black Flag is just such a perfect and well-made game that even though these tailing missions suck so much, I can overlook it because the rest of the game is just perfect. Assassin's Creed Rogue is an interesting story. It's basically a standalone expansion of Assassin's Creed 4, and that's my biggest issue with the game. Assassin's Creed Rogue is a game I've always wanted in the series for years and years, but Rogue just didn't do it for me. Rogue, I think, should have came after Unity, so we should have got Assassin's Creed Unity, and then we should have got Rogue, a full major sequel to Unity, the graphics and gameplay of Unity, but, you know, a full massive adventure where we finally play a whole game as a Templar. Instead, I just felt like I was playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag 2, which isn't a bad thing, by the way, I love Black Flag. But I just wish Rogue got more development time so we could take more risks and try new ideas. Because I love Rogue's story, but just the gameplay and everything else, I just kind of wish it was more risk-taking instead of playing it so safe. I just wish it was a full, massive sequel to Unity, where you know had the graphics and gameplay of Unity. You know, it kind of tried something different, because if I felt like if I was playing a Templar, I feel like there should have been different gameplay mechanics. That's my thoughts on Rogue, I just really wish the game got more time in development and was just a lot more like Unity's gameplay and graphics. Because it's such an interesting story, it just I feel like it was held back by being a seek by basically being Black Flag 2. Assassin's Creed Unity is the one game on my tier list video that people were not happy with, because I don't like Assassin's Creed Unity, and I've not changed my mind. Unity is a game I just don't like very much. My biggest issue with the game is the story. I honestly hate the Unity story. It's not good at all in my opinion. The characters, the themes, the, just the overall narrative, I hate it, I really do. I've tried replaying the game, but I just can't enjoy the story at all. But in saying that, I love the gameplay, the combat, the world, the parkour. The story is just something I don't think I'll ever enjoy. I love hopping on Unity, customizing Arno to look as cool as I want, and then I just, you know, start running around the rooftops with the incredible parkour, the, the world, the hundreds of NPCs running around Paris, the combat, it's all perfect. It's just that story, I just really don't like the story. Assassin's Creed Syndicate is my least favourite in the entire franchise, so I could pick a ton of things I don't like about this game. But the part that annoyed me the most about Syndicate was the fact that the combat in Unity was solid and well made. I really liked the combat in Unity, I thought it was really well made and I would love to see it in more games. But Syndicate didn't do this. The combat in Syndicate was just worse in every single way. Enemies just kind of felt like sponges and everything was just downgraded for me compared to Unity. I just felt like I'd fight an enemy and I would just be spamming X the whole time and pressing B every now and then to counter. That's just felt, that's just how I summarize my combat experience in Syndicate. It just felt like I was doing that over and over and over. There's just nothing to it. It just felt very simple and very boring. Syndicate is a game I don't think I will ever like, to be honest. I do want to give it another shot one day, I've re-downloaded it, and one day I'm going to try replay it and see if maybe I might like the game a bit more, but just the combat in that game I really don't like. I quite like the setting though, it's just that combat and the story and just everything. I just hate this game. <laughs> I'm sorry. Assassin's Creed Origins is the start of the RPG direction for the series, and some people hate the new RPG style and some people like it. I personally quite enjoy the RPG games, I enjoy the old style of games and the RPG games. I really enjoyed Origins, to be fair, its new style of combat and its story are my major highlights. I just really really liked the story and the combat was just really fun and I really liked it, it was a huge step up from every other game in the series. But Origins does, in my opinion, have a pacing problem. Its story is really well written, but I found at the end of the game, especially, to be very slow when I felt it could have been a little faster. By this, I'm meaning the story and the pacing was hurt because of the RPG elements. I'd be getting really into the story, excited to see what's going to happen next to Bayek and everyone else, but then, oh wait, I need to go up four levels so I can play the next story mission. 
This took me out of the story multiple times throughout the game, and for me personally, it threw off the pacing for the game for me. But that's just my opinion, because otherwise I do like Origins. I think it's a really solid game, it's just I would be getting into the story, and then I'm just told I need to go level up four levels so I can do the next mission, or not I'm going to get one shot by every enemy. That was my one problem with Origins, you know, I'd just be getting into the game and it just rips me right out of it, and it's annoying, because, you know, I'd have to go spend an hour, and an hour and a half, just to go level up, just so I can play. That said, the side missions actually were quite fun, but I'd rather have done the side missions on my own behalf. Like, I'd rather that I chose to go out and do the side missions instead of being forced to go do them to continue the main campaign. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is a great game in my opinion. I really like it, but I can understand why some people, well, actually a lot of people, don't like the game. But I do have one big problem, and that's the obvious one. This game is way, way too bloated and big for its own good. The map is way too big, there's way too many side quests, and a lot of these side quests are pretty repetitive. I really do like Odyssey, there's a lot of parts I really enjoy in the game, but I do kind of wish the map was like maybe like 20% smaller and there's like 30% less side quests, because the game can get really, really grindy in the later stages of the game. Similar to the issue of Origins, I'd be getting into the story, really enjoying it, but then I have to grind up 5 levels so I can continue the story. It's just something I really hate in these two RPG games. I just hate having to get into the story and then being told I can't continue the story because I'm not a high enough level. And Odyssey had, well, tons and tons of things to do. Almost overwhelming, actually. I'd say Odyssey's biggest problem is being bloated and too overwhelming. There's just way too much stuff to do in Odyssey, and a lot of it can kind of blend together and seem kind of samey because, well, you're doing a lot of the same things, to be honest, in the Odyssey side missions. Even though a lot of these side missions actually had some pretty decent writing. But my big problem with Odyssey is just it was way too bloated for its own good. Assassin's Creed Valhalla is a decent game, but it does have a lot of problems and issues. Thankfully, it's the only one in the RPG series that I felt like I didn't have to grind for to continue the story, which I'm really thankful for, because the skill tree in this game doesn't actually be that grindy. To be fair, you level up really fast, and I was never once under level for anything in the game, so I'm really thankful for them to kind of get rid of the grinding part so I can continue the story. But the worst part of this game is the exact same as Odyssey. The game is way too big for its own good. The game's story goes on for way too long. I think it took me almost 50 hours to beat the story of Valhalla. And the world is just so goddamn big. It has so many things to do that I just get so burnt out on this game so fast. I do like Valhalla, it's not the worst game ever made. But I just kind of wish, like Odyssey, that it was like 30% smaller. I just think it would be better and I would have loved the game more because I just feel like there's too much to do and there's like a 50 hour campaign and there's all these side missions, there's wealth, there's side missions, there's stones to like collect and then there's like free DLCs and there's mobile maps and it's too much. There's just so much to do in Valhalla that it's overwhelming and it's once again like Odyssey way too bloated. There's just too much to do. Thankfully, I hope in the future games, like we're seeing with Mirage, that it does seem these games are going to get smaller. Thankfully, because I think Origins was a good length. Had a good length story, good length world, good size of things to do. It wasn't too bloated. And that is every single thing I didn't like or I hated in every single mainline Assassin's Creed game. Obviously, some games like Chronicles, Freedom Cry, and Liberation were not mentioned. These games I personally haven't spent much time with. I've played through all of them. I've played through the Chronicles games, Freedom Cry, and Liberation, but I don't really remember them that well. I didn't really like any of them, so I just decided to leave them out because I don't really remember them that well, so I'd have to go replay them, and I just don't really like those games that much. Assassin's Creed, though, is a great series. I do love this series a lot, but like every game, there's flaws and issues, but these were my top issues and flaws with the game. Be interested to hear, do you agree with my top issues in each game? Do you have, for example, like in Valhalla, maybe you really like the size of the game, or, and you have a different issue with the game? It's up to you. Leave a comment below and let me know. But anyway, I've been the Intel, and thank you for watching, and have a lovely day. Have a